So slowly I'm continuing to work on the anti-solvent precipitation. This is a 96% ethanol pull of the uh, solution after it evaporated. So initially you get that precipitate which does contain some of these alkaloid but only a smaller portion and a whole bunch of gunk and that was separated and then you you keep the solution I then put it into a wide dish and evaporated it for about a week or two after it was fairly dry I added a portion of 96% ethanol I then decanted, I did a second pull, decanted again, and after the two pulls I allowed it to evaporate a bit. It came out to around 100 milliliters, now it's approximately 60. So now I'll be attempting the precipitation. I won't wash this i'll just leave it there's a small amount of uh, cloudy precipitate here and this is just a salt brine you can see a very small amount of the salt on the bottom and it's about 50 50 percent each so 60 milliliters here approximately 60 here You can already see the color change. This is just probably the alcohol being hydrated. And based on my past experience, I'll just put the entire 50, 50 or 60 millimeters. So this was still alkaline. And now I'll just allow this to sit for maybe a day or two and hopefully it should be a fairly fairly clean uh, precipitate that comes out and in the past the only the main issue i've had with this extraction technique is i don't get a solid salt at the end i get sort of a goo and that's where I had to start experimenting and I, so far the best uh, acid I used was salicylic acid where it formed those fairly attractive uh, crystals. And yeah, I'll just leave this and we'll see if there's any precipitation in a few hours or a few days. And just to finish up, in theory, the solubility of the salt here it should be only approximately let's say 60 milliliters or 60 milligrams of the free base salt should be soluble in this solution and based on my previous extractions there should be at least uh, half a gram so there should be a precipitate that forms eventually. For now, I won't be stirring, but I may stir it in a few hours or in a day or two. And after leaving the, the solution to sit for overnight, for a few hours, I once again got the precipitate that is the free base of the alkaloid. It stays suspended in solution so I'll be swirling this to see if it settles if not I'll just filter it I forgot to film but I added a small amount of hydrochloric acid to make the solution close to seven I think from my original research on this if the solution is too 
alkaline, there's a slight solubility in the solution, but it looks fairly good. This process is more work than required compared to current uh, extractions just using a nonpolar solvent, but this is uh, using just ethanol and uh, salt brine. So for this, for my extractions, even using this more uh, a safer uh, solvents, I did also use uh, citric acid to do the initial pulls from the bark material. So thinking back how I had issues with calcium hydroxide not making the solution alkaline, the issue is there's likely an excess amount of citric acid in solution. So in the future, to prevent this, you obviously don't use citric acid or you just use a small amount or you can just pull directly from the bark material just doing water pulls or alcohol pulls or what have you and you could probably use calcium hydroxide to free base your uh, compound so that you can extract it with ethanol so let's give this a swirl And if this doesn't work out, I'll let it settle again and use a filter to separate out my compound. And I think the swirl just dissolved it basically into finer particles. So it's gonna be a little bit of a pain. I'll let this settle again and uh, slowly filter off into filter paper. So despite this drawback from swirling the solution again, it is possible to do this anti-solvent precipitation directly from root bark material. Uh, that was my original intent with this uh, video series and attempts. And originally I did this, but I used a pure compound and tested the solubility and it, it does indeed work. Now just going forward, I'll again let this settle so that the freebase uh, coagulates I guess and I'll filter it off and I'll see the visual purity of the compound. Again, this isn't necessarily a practical method, but it is viable. And if you do not use uh, an acid to pull the compound originally from the root bark, you can very likely use uh, calcium hydroxide to freebase. And to bring the pH closer to 7, you can likely use vinegar very slowly adding it to prevent it from going acidic to help it uh, separate from the 50% ethanol salt brine. 